are turning to run clubs like Ooh, this huh. to meet their partners. Yeah, just coincidentally, that's the story in the news today. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's mm -hmm. kind of cool. I think yeah. you have to like running first, though, for that to work, right? I mean, I, you could learn to like running, yeah. right? Well, they meet at pubs and stuff, so yeah. you could like a little bit of beer. and Yeah, okay. And they said all skill levels, so there were some that yeah. were kind of walk Speed running. Speed walkers? Yes, okay. yeah. Okay. So know. there some you go. Some people just strutting. Yeah, Scroll that's on. what I do. Strut, <laughs> strut into the studio here, right? <laughs> hey, you know, this evening, it's actually going to be kind of nice out there for oh, you. for running. Yeah, for, yeah. for the runners out there, I am excluded from this category. <laughs> uh, that is where the heat is not necessarily going to be as widespread or as impactful as it has been. So fair conditions for the next two hours or so, but then things really start to cool off and cool down for us as the dry weather takes us all the way through about the midnight hour or so. Maybe you're more of a biker. That's where our showers pass forecast gives us the green bikes to go. You get a little bit more breeze to help keep you on the cooler side. Our temperatures remain in the low 80s through about 6 o'clock this evening. Now our current temperatures across the Portland Vancouver metro area hovering anywhere from the mid to upper 70s, low 80s out towards Troutdale, Tiger at 82, Forest Grove at 78. It's all as calm, quiet and clear as far as the radar and satellite goes. With the exception of the far northeastern corner of our state, we've seen a little bit of that lightning activity over the past several hours, primarily out towards southeast Washington. That's keeping that wildfire threat elevated. Of course, a much different picture as we zoom into the southeast sections of the country. This is where Tropical Storm Debbie is still impacting the Carolinas. It's expected to drive itself up and along the coastal locations of the eastern seaboard. That's where wind speeds around the center of circulation right around 40 miles per hour or so. And we are expecting to see widespread rain storm surge impacting much of New England all the way through the weekend. Of course, our area not necessarily seeing active weather. All is calm and quiet with a slight risk of severe weather out towards the central regions of Montana as lightning and severe thunderstorms are the greatest impact as poor air quality is impacting us here across much of the south central southeastern sections of the Beaver State. That's where you want to limit your time spent outside as unfortunately wildfires continue to burn. You can see a lot of those yellow dots. That's the moderate air quality falling back to the unhealthy for sensitive groups just to the south of Douglas County or so and all of that could potentially be working its way back into the I-5 corridor. This is the surface level smoke. So what we will see in our atmosphere once again returning to the northern Willamette Valley, the Portland Vancouver area, down to Salem, and then even as far south as Eugene, seeing those smoky conditions from fires burning just north of the Portland metro area, uh, finally working their way back into our region. So our forecasted air quality tomorrow here in the city falling back to about the moderate level. You will see the haze hanging in the atmosphere as high pressure continues to drive that desert southwest heat right back up in western Oregon and Washington as the hazy conditions do just the same. It's expected to stay with us not only for tomorrow, but working our way into Thursday. Thursday likely going to be the hottest day of the week. You see it peaking here at 97 degrees, and then we slowly cool things off and put ourselves closer to that average daytime high of about 83. And today, we are one degree cooler than our average yesterday at 84, so an improvement in cooler weather is knocking at our door. Tonight, 59 degrees is where we expect to fall to. Tomorrow, 91. It's hot yet again. Seven-day forecast, well, dry stretch of weather. I've gone ahead and highlighted Thursday in red. That means you need to stay weather aware as those temperatures start to peak. Some of us could potentially near the triple-digit mark here across the Pacific Northwest, but then we thankfully start to cool things back by the beginning of next week. So, mm -hmm. yep, it's August, it's dry, it's hot, and it's sunny. Mm -hmm. The, the right. dog days of summer. Dog days of summer. He has an explainer on his social media about the, the meaning of dog, dog days, days of summer. And when it officially comes to an end. Yeah, okay. Thanks, yeah. Josh. Thanks, Josh. Coming up, Taylor Swift is leading the MTV.